It's an important time in your Year 10 students' year as we plan to transition into Year 11 next year by selecting our subjects and choosing our pathways. The purpose of this presentation is to notify you about what a set plan is, the four senior pathways here at Bellbird Park, Year 11 curriculum types and subject types, Year 11 prerequisites for senior, not only our college prerequisites but university prerequisite requirements, and some guidance around how to select your subjects for Year 11. Our philosophy here at Bellbird Park is that every student, regardless of their background and starting point, is engaged in a clear, meaningful and individualised pathway that is aligned with their ability, future goals and that will allow them to transition out of school into the world of work with the knowledge and skills required to navigate and flourish. Our purpose here is to ensure that we are preparing your students so that they can transition out into Year 13 with many pathways and no limits. What is a SET plan? A SET plan stands for a Senior Education and Training Plan. This plan is developed between the college, your student and the parent to map their pathway from Year 10 into 11 and 12. There are a number of pathways from here to further study and work and there will be a number of pathways from further study and work to continued employment. During this process, it's important to remember that each and every student is different and that they have their dreams and aspirations. Our aim is to provide the support balanced with the reality, make the endpoint match the student, not the student match the endpoint. There are a number of factors to take into consideration when choosing your student's pathway and their subjects here for Year 11. Things to take into consideration include your student's interests, skills, ability, achievements and career goals, as well as their pathway here at Bellbird Park, the prerequisites they'll need to attain to select the subjects in Year 11 and 12, as well as the prerequisites they will need to meet to, to select certain courses in university. They'll need to pick their subjects based on the ones that they do well, and the subjects they enjoy. And it's always important to make sure that your pathway and subject selections are taken with a plan B. The most important part of our set plan will be our set plan interviews, which occur on Wednesday the 12th of August. The afternoon will be booked from 12 p.m. till 5 p.m. Each parent will need to make a 20 minute interview booking with a college leader via our SOBS booking system. Students, if their appointment is during class time, will be exiting class and moving up to complete their interview. The pathway here at Bellbird Park is not a straight line for all our students, and many students take many pathways as they wind around the senior schooling road from Year 10 through to Year 11, Year 12, and exit into what we call Year 13. At Bellbird, we have four clear pathways for student success. The first pathway we have is our academic pathway. This pathway is for our students that wish to enter university directly from school. This pathway has a specific program of learning which allows students to select a combination of subjects to make sure that they are ATAR eligible. Students that select the academic pathway will have a proven record of success in Year 10 by achieving A's and B's in all of their subjects and meeting subject entry prerequisites. Students in this pathway will make sure that when they choose their subjects that they choose a combination of five general subjects and either one applied or one VET qualification. It's important to understand that the load of a student picking an academic pathway is very hard. And it's important to ensure that they have a broad range of subjects that include ones that they require for university as well as ones that they will enjoy. Here at Bellbird, we recommend that our students on an academic pathway choose five general and one certificate three qualification. The reason we suggest that is that a Certificate 3 qualification also assists with university entrance if required. Students on an academic pathway need to ensure that they are committed to external examinations at the end of Year 12. Students on an academic pathway will all remain ATAR eligible. An ATAR is called the Australian Tertiary Admissions Rank. The responsibility for calculating and issuing the ATAR has been assigned to the Queensland Tertiary Admissions Centre on behalf of Queensland Universities.
The ATAR is the primary mechanism used for tertiary admissions across the nation and it indicates a student's position in relation to other students and their achievements. The ATAR is expressed as a number on a 2,000 point scale from the highest ATAR of 99.95 down to zero in steps of 0.05 increments. Only 30 students across Queensland will gain the top ATAR of 99.95 each year. Approximately another 30 students will gain the next best ATAR and so on. The ATAR is only calculated from students' achievements in units three and four or their year 12 year. There are a number of requirements that need to occur to be ATAR eligible. Students at Bellbird Park select six subjects in their subject selection. So to be ATAR eligible, our students would need to select a minimum of five general subjects or a minimum of four general subjects plus either an applied subject or a VET qualification. The VET qualification must be a Certificate 3 qualification or higher. To be ATAR eligible, students must also ensure that they satisfactorily complete English. So they must pass a unit of English to remain ATAR eligible. While students must satisfactorily complete English to be eligible for an ATAR, whilst students must satisfactorily complete an English subject to be ATAR eligible, the result in English will only be included in the ATAR calculation if it is one of the student's best five scaled results. The second main pathway we have here at Bellbird Park is the blended pathway. Students that select a blended pathway may want to go to university or want to go to TAFE. Students on a blended pathway may be ATAR eligible or choose to be ATAR ineligible depending on their combination of subjects. Students on a blended pathway will choose a combination of general, applied, vocational education and training subjects. To be on a blended pathway in year 11, students would generally be achieving B's and C's on their year 10 report cards. For students on a blended pathway, it's important to know that there is no ATAR requirement for entry into TAFE and that there are multiple pathways through TAFE to get into university without an ATAR. To move straight into TAFE from year 12, the, the entry requirement is successful completion of year 12. There are pathways to university through TAFE called the dual award program. The dual award program means a student will start by completing a TAFE qualification and once completed, they will seamlessly transfer with their TAFE qualification and credit into a degree. So if you can have a look on the screen there, if your student would like to be an accountant, they can go straight to TAFE after school without an ATAR and complete a certificate for an accounting. Following their successful completion of the certificate for an accounting over one year, they are able to transition into the University of Southern Queensland and complete either a Bachelor of Business or an Associate Degree of Business and Commerce. They will receive credit transfer and be able to move into second year of study. Students on a Phoenix pathway are primarily wanting to transition into the workforce or to a trade when completing year 12. Students on a Phoenix pathway may also want to go to TAFE or the Defence Force on a general entry. Students on a Phoenix pathway can pick a combination of applied subjects and vocational education and training qualifications. Students on a Phoenix pathway are able to pursue TAFE at Schools program, school-based traineeships or apprenticeships. For students wishing to select this pathway, they would want to have a genuine interest in transitioning out into a trade or a workforce position. They would also generally be achieving C's or below on their report cards. Our fourth pathway here at Bellbird is our life pathway. Our life pathway is a pathway for our students with a verified disability that might want to transition into supported employment when they finish year 12. They may still have the opportunity to go to TAFE, but the focus of their program is to develop the life skills to be able to function in society and complete supported employment upon graduating year 12. 
Students on this pathway can pick a combination of applied and vocational education and training subjects in year 11 and 12. To select this pathway, students in year 10 would have a verified disability and likely to be on an ICP in their maths and English in years seven to nine.